So, are you new to the whole camping, survival, the whole regiment of everything that's going on, and you want to be prepared for a hurricane, whatever it may be? Do you know what kind of stove that you may want to pick up and get? Yes, there are a ton of them out there, isn't there? And it is overwhelming of far as which one do I choose? What will be the best for me? What's going to be the easiest for you to use in a survival situation? Or maybe just to take your family out and go camping. You want to know what you're doing. You don't want to look like a fool. So what is the best stove to begin with? for the beginners. This video will be for beginners that are just starting out and what I think would be the best stove for you. Coming up next. Okay, so you've been shopping around on Amazon and you've gone on there and you're looking all around and you're looking for a stove that you can use that you're going to feel confident using and that's going to be safe for you and your family or friends, somebody to use that are, has not basically had any basic knowledge of all these different types of stoves. Now, with all these stoves that are out there, you can get them from burning propane, kerosene, um, you can get sternos, they have all different types, wood, you name it, they're all out there. They range in pocket size all the way up to something like this. Now, why do I think that this stove that you're looking at, which is a Coleman propane stove, is the basic beginner's stove that would be great for just about anybody. Let's cover that. Let's go over some things right here. As you can see, it's got a nice flat top surface here, okay? You do have these removable metal grades, okay? They pop right out. If you take this, bring this over, these things pop right out, you can clean them. And as you can see, you can get a nice surface, just like if you were cooking on a gas stove at home. So it kind of goes along with that, all right? Pops right back in. These are your wind blocks. Now you can adjust these. You can have it go all the way in. If you have a bigger pot, you can push it and have it go out a little bit further. And I've even got a big cast iron one and I've just taken, just flipped this sucker out here and I put my cast iron frying pan right there. Now, both sides will clip in just like this, okay? <clears throat> the best thing about this is, this is your regulator. All you do is take your can of gas, your propane, okay? You screw this end into here, and you screw this into the side here. Now, you pull this back, you just push this in, you feel it go kind of snug, and then you just screw it down. Now, you do this actually first. So you'll screw that right down till it's nice and tight, then you screw your canister onto here, and then you can just kind of hold this. It tightens up, move it over, and your bottle will rest on a table or whatever's right here. You turn it on, you light it, and you cook away. Very simple, very easy to do in an emergency situation, especially in a hurricane or something like that. And if you had to cook in your garage or something, um, you know, you'll be perfectly fine. Um, I know people that use these in their homes um, or have used them in their homes and uh, in an emergency situation and they're just fine. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend doing it all the time unless you have a well ventilated area. You know, if I was going to do it, I'd make sure I could open up a window or something. All right. Same if you're in your garage, crack your garage door a little bit or whatever else. Now, the beauty to this is you can buy one of these adapters right here. You buy one of these adapters, okay? Comes with the regulator end and this end here, okay? And this end, let me pop that off. Let's 
pretty stiff. This end will screw into here. Okay? See what I'm doing? It screws right into this to your regulator. All right? This you can hook up to your 20 pound propane tank that you have for your gas grill or barbecue grill at your house. And you could cook on this thing for a very long time on a 20 pound tank. Trust me, if you had a bigger tank, you could cook even longer. And what's nice is if you pick the right one, you get the one with the regulator and it tells you how full your tank is and everything else. So it's a really nice feature. Now you can pick these up. You can get all this stuff. Um, you can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Amazon. This stove right here, this Coleman stove. Now this stove here, I've had, next year will be 20 years I've had this stove. And it's a B700 model. And um, this is back before they started making them in China, unfortunately. This was still made in, in uh, the United States of America. As a little added bonus for everybody, this was my mother-in-law's. You have to pardon me. We got a thunderstorm rolling in. So, this is from 1940. As you can see, it's a Sterno. It's a double service cook stove. The price on this bad boy, from true value, $4.98. And this is what it still looks like. This thing is like in brand new condition. Your sterno was to go inside. You cook on there. Still got the paperwork with it. And this little lid right here, I don't know if anybody can read that. But that's what came with it. That was just a little bonus from the 1940s. Still works good today. Made in America. Uh, but they're still they're still making pretty good products. Um, I'm not too impressed with their lanterns. I've had a couple that I bought for my son and they've broke. Um, but you want to make sure that you get, you know, a good stove like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Coleman. There are some good brands out there. I would suggest you do your homework. Um, and if you just want to get, you know, in the ballpark figure, you know, these run you about between 40 and 50 bucks at Walmart. The canisters are usually like two for, um, I think they run like eight, nine bucks for, for a two pack. Uh, Walmart used to sell them single, but and I noticed they don't do that anymore. You have to buy the two pack. If something ever happens, you can get parts and stuff for these online. Um, and they're very inexpensive. Uh, a regulator like this, I think is like 15 bucks. Um, I've never had to replace mine. This thing is almost 20 years old. And every time I've needed to use this stove, she fires right up. Um, it's very self-explanatory, very easy to use. Um, when you're done with it, you just fold these in, like so, pop this down, and then you can buy a, a case, you can slide your stove right inside here, and your gas canisters to store them will slide in right over here. And you're good to go, got a nice handle, it's a waterproof, it's all leather. Um, I've had this when I bought the stove I got a back then I got a deal where it came with the case but you can order a case separately for any type of stove that you do get from Coleman so that's why I think this Coleman stove is the best bet for anybody out there beginning and you're going to want something for your survival or you're looking for something for camping or something like that so your best bet for somebody that's beginning you get some of the smaller things and everything else it goes they sit on top of here it gets a little tipsy turvy on you if you're trying to cook if you're not real familiar with the stuff and everything else and the last thing you want to do is like spill your meal and knock over your coffee pot stuff like that you're better off just to go with something like this so until next time 
My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I hope this helps out everybody out there deciding on what kind of stove you want to get as a beginner. Coleman is the one you want to pick up. Get the propane. Easy to go. No hassle. It's all about you and your safety and your ability to make sure that you can cook in an emergency situation. Till next time, catch you all on the flip side.